Look what I found at Costco. I'm really excited about this because people are always saying like, hey, I need a quick grab and go option. You know, I've got kids and stuff. I'm trying to transfer over and have them eat a little bit healthier. Well, these were in Costco and these are basically egg witches. Hey, what's up family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics and then every Monday, we sit down on a couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. And that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon. And that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. So I was in Costco and uh, one's going up and down the freezer section. And I found these. These are fun. Red's Egg Witch Turkey Sausage Sandwiches. This is a great option if mm -hmm. it's if it's good. Right. This will be perfect for taking to work. Yep. The kids eating it in the car on the way to school, because let's face it, some mornings they're gonna have to eat their breakfast in the car. Yeah. And then also, if you're going on a trip, I would love to bring these camping. Well, I'm even thinking, yeah, when we go camping or we are actually gonna be driving in Kentucky, we have one of those plug-in 12 volt coolers. Yeah putting this and then when you get to like your hotels and microwave. things like that, being able to microwave them up because that's all you have to do is microwave them for 50 seconds. Now I do have one over here where I've already heated up, but oh, by the way, Redmond not included, but we might need that. They should put that in the box. Uh, the Red story after enjoying one of my wife Paige's delicious burrito recipes, Red, our local and trusted dog, and I agreed we had to start a burrito company. Years later, we've grown beyond burritos and are more obsessed than everyone with the craft of making delicious food. We flash free, eat, flash freeze each creation to lock in the freshness and flavor. Our job is to deliver an amazing experience and anything less it, this unacceptable. And there's a picture of Mike and his dog, Red. Okay, so I'm immediately drawn to this, not because of the dog, although I love dogs. Well, he named the company after his dog and not after him. But my grandfather's nickname was Red. That's cool. Because he was a red-headed guy. Are you ready? Yes, here I am. Here we go. Well, here we got one. So this is Grab and go, right? It's basically- How does it feel? Not too terribly greasy. Sometimes no. you're like, I'm not gonna be able to hold them because they're so yuck. Honestly, we're not even gonna use forks. Because, take a bite and take a bite. Well, because here's the thing. You know, I used to go to Wawa when I started on keto. And well, what happened was I would get their sandwich, but then the cheese they have, it would all be on the bread. So I'm like, now what am I paying for? Right. And then I found out that a lot of times they do add stuff to those eggs. So I decided not to. but. We want to be able to eat it, grab and go. So and why it. should we use a fork? Boop, doop. Wow. Mmm. I love Redmond, but this is perfect. It doesn't even need any salt. It doesn't salt. even need any salt, which I always need salt on everything. That is delicious. Of course. Everybody always complains that keto doesn't have enough hand food. I grabbed one that's closed. Mmm. So it's a good thing you didn't need more. This is good. It's really good. This sausage is really good. Like, I'm impressed. Five things? Five things. So if you're new to our channel, we review all products based on five things. We're gonna talk about the ingredients. Does the keto based on nutrition label? How does it taste? How much does it cost? And finally, would we recommend it? Number one. Number one is the ingredients. The ingredients, the egg patty, which is whole egg, whole milk, Cornstarch, sea salt, and white pepper. Okay. Not thrilled with the cornstarch. It's, 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 you know what? There can't be that much in there. Yeah. I'm okay with it. Turkey sausage patty consists of turkey meat, water, and then contains less than 2% of potato starch, salt, sugar, and spices. That's the curing. Right. And then you have American cheese, cultured milk, salt, and enzymes, which is, and then water, cream, sodium phosphate, salt, and apocartineal and beta carotene for color. All right. Okay, so the ingredients, not not the cleanest, but not horrible, especially for a grab and go. So there's a little bit of sugar in the turkey sausage that's kind of normal. Anytime you get the sausage bacon, there's usually a little bit of sugar as part of the curing process. Wish it was an American cheese. But overall, like for a grab and go, especially your kids, Definitely not bad. Oh yeah, I like it. Number two, 
Does uh, does a keto based on a nutrition label? All right, so there's eight servings in this container. Okay. One sandwich each, so eight eight sandwiches. That's nice. So uh, 190 calories per egg, which mm -hmm. 12 grams of fat, 17 grams of protein, three total carbs, which actually is really awesome because you've got really the good. sausage and you have the cheese and even the eggs. Every piece of cheese has a carb in it. And you know, sausage normal to have a carb in it. And no and no uh, sugar. No sugar. Which is great. Which you think is is like, of course not. It's in a sandwich. Well, there's a little bit in the turkey sausage. But, but have you ever gone and looked at some of the ingredients in like the Jimmy Dean stuff we oh, used yeah. to eat with the with the bread and everything? There's lots of sugar. And in again, it. as I mentioned, I would go to Wawa. Well, the Wawa breakfast sandwich, it's like 19 carbs. Now, yes, there's bread there, but still, that's a lot of it's carbs. A lot. Even you know, then you're throwing out the bread, you're paying like three dollars. For basically this. Yeah. So number three, how do they taste? Delicious. I'm really impressed. I really like it. The the egg is very nice. It doesn't come out greasy. I have gotten or some, soggy. Some microwave ones that were like, I didn't want to hold it in my hand. Like I mm -hmm. felt like I needed a shower after I ate it. Yeah. The sausage is not spicy. I right. don't tend to like the super spicy breakfast sausages because right. I want to taste the cheese and I want to taste the egg. It's American cheese, but in this format, I'm not mad at it. I'm not, I'm not, I can't beat them up. I mean, that's the normal cheese you're gonna find on a breakfast sandwich, especially mm -hmm. if you're gonna compare this to going to McDonald's and getting a bunless or like muffinless egg McMuffin. I think this tastes way better. This, I, I, it tastes fresh. It doesn't taste like some kind of a frozen egg sandwich that you bought in a grocery store. So how much am I gonna pay for this? Number four, how much do they cost? The box was twelve dollars and ninety nine cents. That's not very bad. So because what does that come eight, out to be? That's less than two dollars per sandwich. I cannot get that value. At you can't McDonald's. get that value at McDonald's. You not, can't get that value at Wawa. Two eggs, sausage, and cheese. I'm not getting that. No. For two dollars a sandwich. No. no. I'm pretty impressed with that. So number five, would we recommend these? I really like them. Yeah. Honestly, I think that they're great. I think that they're they're not a keto frenemy. They're no. an actually keto friendly. Uh -huh. I think kids will really enjoy them. And I think even if you deconstruct it and yeah. eat it two eggs and a sausage with cheese, I think you'll really like it. Yeah, I think they're really good for kids. I do think they're good for keto. Yeah. Uh, you know, if you don't want to have any sugar in something, okay, maybe not. But I don't mind that touch of sugar that they use to cure sausage or they use to cure bacon. A lot of it gets cooked off anyway. And especially if you need something, if you're on a trip, if you're in a hurry and you want to run out the door, this is not going to derail your progress. No, and I think you're going to save money on the road because a lot of times on the road, what we do is reach for a McDonald's version of this and just yep. throw out the bun. This is much more cost effective. Yep. Well, that is going to be our video for today. Let us know if you have tried Red's Egg Witches. Uh, now, if you like seeing videos like this, check out some of the other videos that we have linked right over there. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which I'm going to put right over here. Well, whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon, and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. bye.